Derek Jones from Minimum Wage Assassins and Blunt, also the referee at PPW, and you're watching Journey to the Ring. Alright, got the Iron Sheik and Super Crazy from eBay in the mail. And then, as we go past the nuclear explosion in my room, got the uh, GameStop exclusive Jericho, and I love that. Thing. This is rubber. So I was able to just kind of squeeze it into his hand, so it worked out beautifully. So, in order to keep a... Uh, I think all my overhead stockings are currently unavailable right now. They're in the dirty clothes bin. I, uh, so I think I have to stick with, like, um... The straps, the regular masks, and uh, that's what this thing is. It pretty much helps hold the mask up because my beard is, this thing slides over my beard. It's ridiculous. What did you make us stop at Target for? Well, I was good. Well, EJ, I wanted this guy, and then I found, and then I found more. Fucking, I don't know how I'm going to afford those other figures I was hoping to get at Walmart, but I have a problem. All right, so finally got my fucking Matt Hardy in the mail. God, it took ages. Box in great condition, other than like the usual wear and tears you'd expect, like this corner here. But I'm not too worried about it. Fucking, he's gonna be open anyway. I'm gonna try to. Usually, I try to keep the boxes as pristine as possible and such. So, <laughs> honestly, I was kind of uh, having buyer's remorse a little bit. Uh, but now that I have them out of the package and fucking in my hand, I'm like, no fucking regrets, bitch. Yeah. Because I was thinking, like, why did I buy? I, I wasn't even looking for any of these three. I was looking for fucking Viscera. And I ended up leaving with these fucking three jackasses. So, and I'm thinking, I was like, okay, if I, had I saw the Jeff, for sure would have got him. Had I saw Heaton, for sure would have got him. I was like, why the fuck did I buy a Razor? <laughs> Not that against the dude, but I'm just like, why? Why did I buy that razor? <laughs> now I, I now I have them all out of the package. I switched the hands and like um, I usually keep the other hands in the box, which I'm sure eventually that's gonna bite me in the ass. Um, I like I love J Jeff and the wife beater, so I didn't even bother taking the shirt out. So I thought that was cool. Honestly, I debated taking Matt's off too, cause I th it's kind of bland, bland, bland and boring. Because, like, it's black, and obviously they must not be able to uh, put that skull on there. So, yeah, someone was lazy. Because I just noticed his fucking elbow pads are painted on. <laughs> what the f It's like all the detail went into this ECW belt, and I would say the ECW microphone. But I don't know how well... You're not going to see that. But it's got the new fucking era WWE logo. That wasn't the logo back in ECW. Which, by the way... I am so disappointed in Metella how long it took to get a fucking sci-fi ECW title for the figures. I get it. No one likes that era of ECW. And I'm like probably the only person on this planet who's nostalgic for that ECW. <laughs> but fuck me. I think the only figures from that era that came out was like Dying Days ECW. So I think the only ones were like maybe Christian. Uh, which I'm probably going to look for because I want to put that belt on the Christian. I think it was probably Christian, Zack Ryder, maybe Jack Swagger. None of them came with the ECW belt. There was a two, uh, basic two-pack with Tommy Dreamer and uh, Christian. It was Tommy Dreamer's only Mattel figure, which I might want to look for. Even though it's probably going to be like out-the-ass BOGO expensive. Or not, I don't know, fuck, I could be surprised, but I'm trying to not, I'm trying to stay off eBay in a way so I don't fucking um, buy shit. So I looked underneath uh, Bobby's thing here. I don't know how long I'm going to, there we go. He's in a singlet, which makes sense because the weasel suit match. thought it was a fart earlier. 262! We lost weight. We're at 262, so we lost 10 pounds since, uh, wrestling! Hell yeah. God, I don't, I don't know why I keep fucking things up, but toes wrapped around my damn feet from these tights, so I had to cut them out. Also, these tights are too fucking wide, so I gave them the wrong measurements. Also, if I want these to stay on, I gotta cut circulation off my goddamn waist, from my goddamn cock, so I can't 
so my ass doesn't ha fall out on fucking television. And don't get too excited. It's not that I'm wrestling. It's that I found I didn't realize my tights weren't in my truck. So I was cleaning my room a bit, which you could not tell. Um, and I fucking found my tights and went, what the fuck? Why aren't those in my truck? So I just have the jeans on the truck. And if they told me I couldn't use the jeans, I'd be fucked. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, God damn it. All right, I'm calling it a night early because um, we actually had a class early today. And I was going to stay the whole fucking thing, but Randy's like, hey, man, go home whenever you want. You did a lot today. So that told me, he's like, all right, he's not going to use me. <laughs> but wrestling at him, I'm looking out of here. I may be in a lot of pain right now, but nothing is making me happier than seeing Bobby Heenan in a weasel suit. And I have him pose how he reacts anytime he sees the weasel suit. Where he's like looking at the mitts. He's like, what the fuck? I was wondering, I saw the mailman drop off something. I'm just like the fuck? I was like, I don't think I have any figures on the way, and then I was like, oh shit, that's right, I ordered, uh, elbow pads. Couldn't have come at a perfect fucking time, either. Bit of a snug fit, but at least it won't go anywhere. And my elbow won't be busted open anymore, so fucking more sanitary in the ring. So I didn't realize this actually came today, and, uh, <laughs> it was interesting, because I was going into the room and all of a sudden, oh hey, it's a box from Freeport, New York. It is my Chris Jericho that I pre-ordered back when they first announced the toys. <clears throat> uh, ringside as a late. I don't know what it is, but see that crease? Like, look, this is how it came in. No fucking cushioning or bubble wrap. They've been getting lazy lately. From what I've under, from what I've seen, like I've seen some people, their little bit of the bubbly ring exclusive or ringside exclusives have come in, box all fucked up. Which that's a nice box too, so that's kind of shitty. So, um, yeah, this box isn't the. Well, I don't know. I hate to be. I'm opening him anyway, but I just imagine those who are box collectors are just like, what the fuck, man? God. Damn it, they put them in a bubble! This box is useless. Have you ever tried to fucking take bubbles off without tearing the goddamn paper? It's impossible! Interesting is, like, these pla this plastic was, um... Underneath his coat. I assume it would, like, protect keep his arms from becoming discoloring, especially his tattoos here. Oh, what is it on my camera, but it does not want to focus, but... Oh no, his hat looks more like a cowboy hat than it does a fedora. Switch the hands out uh, with his gloved ones so I thought it looked cooler on display. And there they are. They're still not here. Ugh. Where the hell are these things? <sighs> well. I like, guess I didn't grab that cart, because I was thinking about it as like a bird grab cart. I dragged that big ass thing over here and saw this, I was a bit pissed. <laughs> I think my car is finally toast. It's <sighs> leaving Walmart and uh engine started overheating. My steering my power steering's fucked. I think a belt broke or some shit. Son of a bitch. I may have to skip the figures entirely, just start saving for a car. Son of a bitch, I was lucky to get this thing fucking started. And there's a train! It's fucking trains, dude! Oh, oh, oh god. The heat gauge went down, thank god, but fuck, it's got me nervous as hell. <sighs> fuck. I think the gauge is going back up. Yeah, it's slowly ticking. Okay, 
good. Son of a bitch. So, we're going to kill time and summarize yesterday and today. Yesterday, class started early, so I got to hit up the place early. Got to, uh, what do we do? Practice trading holds and, uh, going around the ring with the lockup, and then uh, doing shoot offs into the corner. And I think it was either that or just a little too much force on the ropes during, like, a sumo, sumo, sumo thing or fucking lot. I don't know. I'm so fucking flustered. My back got hurt. Not hurt, hurt, but, like, my back got a little, uh, tweaked, I guess. I don't know. It's fucking hurting, though. Um, so, got home. I'm fucking in pain. I, anytime I move my leg, it's like, oh, oh. Ooh, so that's sure as shit. Next day, it's still kind of hurting, and I'm like, oh my god, how am I going to go to class like this? Because first bump I take, or first anything I do, I can't even hike my leg up, like, you know? So, like, any fucking force I do trying to run, I was pretty much... You know, I, I, I had pretty much had my mind made up that I can't go to class, or else I'm going to do one thing, and then that's it. So what the fuck's the point? So I was like, I was going to take the opportunity to heal, but what also sucked about that was Saturday I'm going to be busy, so I can't go to that class. Had this happened where I wasn't busy Saturday... I'd be fucking, alright, you know, sucks, I, I, it sucks, but, you know, I, I got Saturday at least. I like to be at least at two classes a week, if not all of them, you know, so, um, that was the L I was gonna take, uh, and such, uh, cause, like, I went to, the, I, I, I did everything, I went to the gym, I went, I took, I did the Hydra bed twice, um, I did one in the morning, I went to Walmart to see if they had the AEW figures, one in the morning, um, fucking came home, I went back again, I rested some, went back again to get some sort of light workout in, and it, the workout went great, um, of course, when you're hurt, you're not going as much as you want to, but just getting home and on the way out to the door, I was just like, Oh, but I, I, I still had the thought in the back of my mind, even though my mind was made up, I was going to miss. I, I was like, you know what? Maybe I could make it. I think I could do this, you know? Then my card decided for me, as you saw. So right now I'm pulled over to the side of the road waiting for the fucking engine to cool down so I can get the goddamn thing started, and to my house. I'm almost there. I'm literally almost there. So I, I texted Eddie and Derek. I should have texted Randy, but of course I'm a fucking... Ooh, I'm scared. Big, 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 scary Randy, you know? Um, which that, that, that's, that by no means is no, no disrespect. It's just... Because, like... But what I mean is, like, Randy's a really cool guy, so I feel like he'd understand. Um, but, of course... So, I'm not quite sure what to do now. What I do know is there will be no AEW figures for me. <sighs> Alright, so, huge update. Abandoned the, we uh, left the car behind. It got picked up today uh, by, I think actually the uh, next door neighbor to my dad, to my dad's uh, workshop. As a towing company, so it worked out. Fucking my mom decided to take me out to go look at cars, and I am going to be getting like a 2019 either Nissan or Mitsubishi, something like that, and it's a really nice car. And I'm gonna be paying like 400 a month for it. That's where I'm gonna start building credit. So, I, my, currently my credit is uh, zero goose egg. So, 
I'm just blown away because, you know, not everybody's parents help them. So for my mom to go out of her way to help me get this car is a blessing. My dad said he'd help with the first, like, down payment, but I think we, I don't think he needs to because, like, we're getting a cashier's check to buy the car outright and then just pay the bank back, so. So we got a life fucking lesson right here. <laughs> My jackass got so pissed off at a co-worker because I thought she left way too early. I thought she was scheduled till like 5.30. So I got pissed off and called, um, texted my manager about it and just fucking tore her an asshole. Come to find out I was looking at fucking Friday. This co-worker was scheduled till 4 today, which is when she left. Today! Well, I am the biggest fucking asshole right now. And I mean, you are what you eat, but sometimes it just don't feel good when you eat it. And uh, I'm eating it. All right, so. Want to say hi? No. <laughs> She's eyeballing the toys. Yeah. Who did your haircut? Daddy did your hair? Yeah. I could tell because he didn't get your neck. You got a damn point on the back of your head. Oh, this fucking morning, get my new car and everything that's all set up. It's at home. Just got to uh, get home. They brought it home while I was at work. I'm in my grandpa's truck right now and uh, same situation here. God damn it, if I, had I just been able to get that truck, had this train not happened, I would've got that truck home. I would not have been broken down. <laughs> Pissing me off, fucking keep me away from my car! Ah! Witness the most gorgeous car I think I've ever owned. Say Mitsubishi. 2019, 6,000 miles and a $400 a month car payment. With $269 car insurance a month. So, bills, bills, bills. I went from hardly any bills to fucking all the bills. So, Fun stuff. Um, gonna make some cutbacks for sure. Uh, probably gonna shrink my gym membership from premium to um, the basic, basic bitch stuff. You know, just to save money. Cancel some streaming services, which Amazon Prime and DDT Universe or Russell Universe, unfortunately, which sucks because I want to support whatever I can, especially with wrestling. But, what are you gonna do? This car's actually gonna last me a while. Like, I'm not, it's not gonna make me dread when is it going to break down, when is it gonna crash, it's, it's damn near brand spanking new. And, I am so blessed, you know, and thankful for having a supportive family and be able to help me get a car. You know, my mom didn't put a penny down. All she had to do was sign her name, and ta-da. Because of her, she helped me get this car. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, which is why, uh, honestly, the only PSA I got for you is be appreciative of anything, whether it be this big or anything small, you know, because... I'm blown away, you know. I'm really blown away. Ugh. So I'm standing here like an idiot trying to get this goddamn thing open. So I googled it. Gotta go over here. 
pull that, and ta da! How would anybody have ever known that unless they looked it up? It's time like these that calls for celebration. But it's Friday and I don't have work tomorrow, so I probably would have drank anyway. <laughs> you don't want any any of that, huh? Hui. So this dog doesn't like it when you flip him off. Hey, hui. Hui. Like what? I did it and he started doing that. <laughs> There's a storm a brewing. The stylists are on the run. <laughs> the hair stylists are on the run. I know. That's a tornado. Right on the way to my house. I'm gonna check on you. <laughs> <laughs> Our manager is running away. What'd you say? Be safe. I know. She's saying, fuck this, I'm out. The captain has abandoned ship. Jesus Christ. <laughs> The windows? Yeah, good idea. The worst thing we can do, but I mean, like, I'm not going to. We're never going to die. It's going to go to the gym uh, after work, run home, grab my shorts, and head there. That's not happening. <laughs> Yikes. Are you upstairs at my Snapchat? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. So that's why we have a rug. Well, this is carpet, so. Um... Fun stuff. Said screw it. Let's do it. hit the gym. Now that the storm's calmed down a bit. <clears throat> Their water's not bad here, actually. It's actually pretty good. So let's get some swole on. I said fuck it and just went to the gym and I am super groggy. Super tired. I was tired before then. I was tired at work. <laughs> fucking during the fucking tornado at work when we're all just sitting there waiting for something to calm down or a customer to walk in. Because you know, come hell or hot water, someone needs that haircut. <laughs> so. <laughs> I, I, I just went and got my fucking and worked out and I'm glad I did because I feel good and um, hopefully I can do it. I, I, sh I have no reason why I couldn't do it tomorrow before class so <sighs> I'm going home.